<laughs> okay, I won't sing. I will not sing way too early for that. Actually, there's no time of day that that is appropriate. All right, let's see who's joining me first here today. I see Patty, you're the winner. Hello, hi Ellie, what's going on? How are you and Nader? Hi Diane, bright and early, up and at them. Morning. All right, guys. I hope you guys are having a good day. Aaron Smith, what's up? How you been, babe? Okay. Here's a question for today. The question for today. The thought. Something for you to noodle on today or this weekend or talk with your family about. That's one of the best, coolest bits of feedback I get for Dance Party Friday is, hey, Monica, we sit down with our kids or I watch it with my kids and we sit down and we talk about whatever subject I was talking about that day. Nothing makes me feel better than that. God, that's awesome. Okay, the question today is, do you ever have a thought come in your head that you really wish you didn't have or you're ashamed of or you're like, God, why do I don't really feel that way. Why do, why do I think that? I don't want to think that. Do you ever have that thoughts that sort of make you feel icky, like ashamed in some way? I want to talk about that a little today. I was, um, I had a thought, we all have those. I have them quite often. I'm like, that's not me. Why am I thinking that? I don't want to think that. I was standing behind um, a woman uh, at the grocery store and she was very overweight and she had, I mean, the stuff she was buying was just horrible, horrible stuff for you. Tons of ice cream and junk food and all this stuff. And she's on the phone. And she says to whoever she's on the phone with that um, she, she wasn't walking that far, you know, you know, her knees are bad. And of course I had this thought. I didn't like the thought at all. I'm ashamed that I even had it. Um, and it got me thinking about, you know, we can't control our first thoughts. We just can't. Our programming is like an automated machine. I mean, our past circumstances and our programming produce these thoughts and we cannot help them. But we do not have to identify with them. Our first thoughts do not define who we are. Our second thoughts and our first action define who we are. Let that sink in for a minute. First thoughts, can't help it. It's our programming. And you know, our programming leads to thoughts and our thoughts lead to feelings. And we can correct that thought right there in the moment with a second thought or with words. So through words and actions, we can change that definition and we don't have to identify ourselves with the first thought. Here's where we get into trouble. We get into trouble when we sort of double down on the first thought and here's what I mean by that when we double down on the first thought is where we give it energy and then our and our second thought does not correct the first thought or our second thought tries to go and prove and make us right then we give that thought energy and then it becomes a lot more about us and uh, identifiable with us is that making sense so the trouble starts when you go sort of double down Instead of just letting it be a fleeting thought, I read that that's, the, that's how to uh, take the power away from the first thought, is to absolutely let it come in and out and not give it any energy. Because it's okay that it came in as long as it just leaves as quickly as it came in. I was like, I like that a lot. I can let those thoughts go and I don't have to identify them. I'm better than my first thoughts. My first thoughts are not me. I am my second thoughts and I am my actions. Make sense? There's a quote I want to uh, read by a guy named Joe Gerstamp. I, don't, I didn't know Joe, but I'm going to give him credit for this quote. He says, we are not responsible for our first thought, but we are responsible for our second thought and our first action. A lot of our personal power can be found in that space between our first thought and our second thought. Our personal power can be found between that first thought and that second thought. I liked that quote. All right, guys, a little something for you to think about today. Don't overthink it. 
And if you're having a thought you don't like, don't give it any energy. Let it go. Move on. Moveon.org. All right, let's dance. You know, Facebook requires me to stay within 30 seconds of dancing, which is not enough time for me to truly express myself through dance. So I'm a little irritated about that. LA, what's going on, babe? Good to see you. All right, so here's the song. Of course, we have to go with Aretha Franklin's Think, right? Okay, I got confused there. I had to watch the time because I don't want them to shut me down. Move on, dot on, yes. Hi, Sonia, what's going on, babe? All right, guys, I hope that, um, I don't know, gives you something to think about today. If you want to talk about that, you know I'm always here. Hi, Gail, what's going on? Got your send out card. Loved it. Squirrel in the road, the best card. Ah, guys, I hope doing something fun this weekend. And uh, have a great, incredible, happy, joyful Friday. I'm going to play golf today. If you couldn't tell, I'm going to play golf, which is something I haven't done in a while, but I love to do. So I'm going to go represent uh, in a little golf league. All right, guys, have a, uh, an awesome day. See ya. Bye.